Hello, all of you. My name is Edward Mosheno. Um, I'm leading the tribute on behalf of the father. I am not a father, I am an uncle. Um, here is the tribute of uh, that is Jami to Jami. Uh, dear Jami, uh, my daughter, the time has come for me to atone for my acts of, of omission or commission on your final journey from this world. It has been one of the most difficult episodes in my life, and especially for your close family. Your mom, sisters, aunties, uncles, colleagues in the media, and friends in and out of the country. The large following you were able to marshal on social media was a testament to your ability as an influential personality. Your sudden and un unexpected death cut short your very blight and promising career at a time you had already entered the political arena. Having vowed to be a member of parliament for the Gureti South in the 2022 elections, where you came an impressive father. My tribute to you will uh, be on my contribution in your life. Confession of my acts of omission, on commission and forgiveness. Stella Wamboi Kanogo, your mom and I were living in Liluta Setrite when we started our friendship. And you were conceived in 1985. She gave birth to you on January 24, 1986. At the time, I was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Having been employed in late October 1983, she visited me at the office to inform me of the pregnancy. And later, after she gave birth to you, she came back to see me. At that, at that time, you were about four months old. And that was my first encounter with you as a child. Though our encounter was short-lived, and we never saw each other after that, as I was posted out of the country. All the time I was away, your mom and family took care of you, and it is only when you got to Form 1, and I was back in the country that we were able to meet, when you came to the office to look for me. You were uh, then at Ngala Girls and came in school uniform. When I saw you, I saw myself. And when we spoke at length about your education, you later went to Alia Girls, then McKinney School, where you did your own levels. Thereafter, you joined St. Christophers for A levels. And then we agreed you joined Desta University for your undergraduate degree, and where you graduated with a degree in mass communications. We took a very beautiful photo on your graduation day, which I shall always treasure. I therefore, I thereafter got you a job at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. From the time I accepted you as my daughter, I never stopped paying for your education and supporting you in other ways. And I remember after the graduation ceremony which I attended in 2008, you told me that you are grateful that I had been your I had been by your side in your educational journey. I would also support you from different parts of the world in many ways, especially when I was in London and Nigeria. You later told me you wanted to do postgraduate studies in international relations, relations at the United States International University, and I did not hesitate to pay for your studies. Later, you joined Alliance Francaise to study French, and I remember on one occasion, you told me there was a trip France, I, and I paid for you. The following year, you went again to France, and you told me you loved the country very much. You told me uh, for you had uh, bought lots of presents for your family and friends. Uh, that is Baba Jambi's tribute to Jambi. Sorry. As far as our relationship were concerned, we had good and bad times. When times were good, we would go shopping and have lunches at some of the restaurants in town, and you enjoyed the encounters thoroughly. I really miss the good times we shared together. When times were bad, we would go for days and months without talking, for which I blame myself and will always do so, um, as I have lost the opportunity to mend fences with you. This will always weigh heavy on my heart. 
I take comfort from the message you sent me on Sunday, June 2nd, 2024, after I came to see you, in which you stated as follows. Hi, Dad. Hope you had reached home safely. So our country needs the orange juice. Let berry and del monte and some fresh oranges and three tomato juice. The doctors are here, so I will have to go and we speak tomorrow. It was great to see you and reconnect. I really was praying for your recovery, so we will do, uh, do just that. However, it was not to be. I confess I was not an ideal and good father at all times to you. And I left the burden on your mother for this. Those instances I failed you in many ways to stand by you as you were battering endom endometriosis. I regret immensely. It is too late to regret. I can only live with the reality that I failed when you needed me most. And I'm not proud at all of my conduct. You have been a shining beacon to many. And your legacy needs to be continued. I will endeavor uh, to play my part in keeping your legacy alive. I remember when I told you I was uh, uh, brought up by the Salvation Army Church at their children's home at Tabete. You are very impressed and commended me for having fought against all odds to reach where I had reached in my career as a diplomat. And you vote to do the same in whatever field you went in. I am happy you are able to attain so much in your young life. And I have no doubt, doubt that you could have attained much more. It is unfortunate that the cruel hand of death has locked you, your family, the country and the world at large. Of some, someone who had big dreams and big ambitions, especially in the fight against endometriosis, the deep pain and low uh, solo I feel at this time is indescribable, but I will try to uh, preserve and stay strong like you. Persevere and stay strong like you. You are a little fighter. At the hospital, by your bedside, with your mom on the night you left us, you told me you were the same blood and uh, that you were happy I had come. We really connected. And I hope we shall be we shall reconnect again someday. May the Almighty God rest your soul in eternal peace. Yambi. Santi Sala. Santi Sala. As you're going to sit, please, Mwende Mulibe Deni Amdura. Sindio. Mdura lazo maidikwe. It's good once in a while to see a smile. Um, I know it's a, a tough time. And all of us, we born in our own special ways. Uh, some of us remember the laughter, some of us remember the fights. Because na nabi tume 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 pigana, tume cheka, tume kwa marafiki, tume panda milima, tume we tume ingi sana. So you remember her in the best way that you can. Yeah. Na sasa tutafanya uh, kusonga mbele kidogo, so at least uh, muda kusitupate. Uh, we're going to have a tribute that is going to be read by Edward Mosheru. He's going to read the dance tribute. Edward. Edward Mosheru. <laughs> 